countless. State numbers show six Utahns die every single week from opioid overdose. As our community battles that epidemic, one residential treatment facility is expanding opportunities for addicts to get sober. In this Healthy Mind Matters report, new specialist Jed Bull joins us live from Mill Creek, where Odyssey House is opening a new residential facility there. Jed? Yeah, Mike, Odyssey House already operates a couple of residential treatment facilities here in Salt Lake County. They purchased this 83-bed facility to specifically target the opioid crisis. It essentially doubles the number of people that they can help and people that they can give hope to, people like Casey. No one's going to get sober until they want to get sober for themselves. That didn't happen until 15 months ago at Odyssey House for Casey Erickson. I didn't think I needed treatment until I was in treatment. He started drinking and using drugs after high school, then discovered opioids. And then it got to the point where I couldn't afford Oxycontin anymore. I found heroin. The same high. After the first time, I became hooked. And just like that, it just, it just led to losing jobs, losing my family. My family illegally evicted me. Homeless for three years, he was picked up by police as part of Operation Diversion, taken to Odyssey House instead of jail. For me, it started with just getting honest with myself. The kind of start Odyssey House will now provide for more people who desperately need it. It gives additional access to to so many people in the community that would, no, would not have had access uh, previously. This facility will serve the 70 people on their waiting list. We hope we're making a huge dent in the need, but there is still quite, quite a need in the community. Odyssey House helps clients navigate funding through their own insurance, grants from Salt Lake County, and Medicaid for those eligible. Not being able to pay is not a reason to not get help. We will help them find the resources that they need to get their child or loved one into a facility. We're ready to help. The majority of addicts do not get clean. Casey Erickson tells me Odyssey House gave him the tools and the hope that he needed. I had a lot of support and uh, what Odyssey has done for me has totally changed my life. Yeah, one week from today, Odyssey House will start welcoming the first clients into this new facility. That hope starts here for so many people in our community who really need it. Guys? Yeah, what a great facility and great to see Casey. Hopefully he keeps on the path he is. All right. Thank you, Jed. Dini?